Sky. Today I'm going to do this tutorial uh, inspired by this look I saw on a YouTube event um, this Saturday. Um, the person who wore it is a Swedish singer called Peg Ponevik and it was a smoky eye that was with a lot of focus underneath the eyes and it was, it was pitch black and I just loved it so much so I felt like I had to do like, I have to do not a recreation but something inspired by that. So that's what I'm gonna do today. To achieve this look, I am going to use black, of course. I'm gonna focus a lot under my eyes and I'm gonna do like a soft smoky on my eyelids. And Peg has, well, she her eyes are really big and they're very round and she's got a lot of eyelid space, which I don't have. So I'm gonna fake it a little bit, but um, I'm gonna try to get as close to this as possible. So I'm actually gonna start, I'm gonna start under my eyes, actually, because everybody always starts on the eyelid. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually start underneath your eyes as well, because there are no rules in makeup and you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna go with black core crayon and I'm gonna do it under my eyes. I'm not sure if, oh, she's having in the waterline as well, I think. So, but because I have smaller eyes, maybe I'm not gonna go in my waterline. I'm gonna go very close to the waterline and then I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna continue the crayon on my eyelid. So far I'm only using one product. And I love these kind of looks when you actually can use one, two, three products that you don't have to have like 40 products to achieve an eye look. I've basically been blending this black all over my lid just a little bit to get a priming effect. And then I'm gonna take the Infinity palette, I'm gonna use the shade Fornax to set the black. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with Cigar just to cover my lid. And I'm gonna go with Swicky so don't be scared of using like a lot of black underneath your eyes. I think it's just a thing you have to get used to. It's like a red lipstick. So I think it's better just to try, 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 try. And like make it your thing. And black eyeshadow can be scary, I know. To make my eyes even blacker, I'm gonna do an eyeliner and I'm gonna use a fat liquid eyeliner from Ico. I think you say Ico. I'm gonna go for Big Bold Waterproof Volume Mascara from Isadora. Uh, I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I'm gonna do false lashes as well. I'm gonna do both lower and upper lashes. And for lower lashes, I'm using my favorite bottom lashes and it's Precious from House of Lashes. And upper lashes, I'm not really sure yet, but I found in, also from House of Lashes. These are called Natalia. I've never used them before, so I have no idea how they look on me, on my eyes. But they are very fluffy, which I like. They are very like three-dimensional. Ooh, okay, this lash is gonna take over the entire look, but I love it. I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara even on the lower lashes, the false lashes. Don't you just love these lashes? They are so fluffy. It's like they're feathers. My eyes look huge. 
I'm gonna do a neutral lip, just a little bit of blush and highlight. I'm gonna use Motives Cosmetics uh, Maven's Reveal Me. Okay, let's go to contour and highlight. I'm using the Infinity palette for that. So I'm going to bronze myself up a little bit. I'm going to use Swicky mixed with Cigar and my face, just to get a little warmth to my face. Using Virgil as my highlight. And I'm going to do some blush and I'm going to use Andromeda, which is the warm pink toned one. Okay guys, that was the last touch. Maybe I would have styled this another way. Okay. I really hope you liked this tutorial. I really enjoyed making it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys. You are, you are.